All right, all right. Welcome, everybody, to another edition of the ISBC Truth, right here on Illuminate Radio, with your host, Pastor Michael Smith, and co-host, Sister Smith. If you are new to this page, hit that follow button, turn on your notification bells, and don't forget, if you have not followed the podcast, wherever you get your podcasts at, we're there. Wherever, whatever platform, whether it be Apple, whether it be Google, wherever you get your podcast at, all you have to do is type Illuminati Radio, and we are there. And make sure you guys hit that follow button. So let me go ahead and pray in. Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 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 All right, everybody, mute your phone and we can go ahead and get started. So it seems that uh, these celebrities is really um, getting the blunt end of things. Well, you know, Madonna just came out and she just have done a transformation ritual. Uh, as you know, yeah, Madonna just been announced that Madonna has been rushed to the hospital. She's in ICU. She has some type of bacterial infection. This is what happens when you pass your soul through fire mola. Especially Madonna. Madonna is the black widow, even though she's white. Because she done had every black celebrity in her bed. She is the black widow, even though she's white. And she is the Mecca of Kabbalah. Of Kabbalah. Now, if you don't know what Kabbalah is, Kabbalah is that same tree that Eve done ate from, being that the Most High God told her and Adam that you can eat from any tree in the garden, but the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Thou shalt not eat of. That means thou shalt not get any type of wisdom from. Thou shalt not indulge and get any type of philosophy, any type of saying, any type of idea. You're not supposed to touch it. Well, that's what Kabbalah is. And that is what Madonna, actually she is a witch. A one witch, one of the, just one of the many witches. And you know what I'm saying? It was one 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 time she was the one that was pushing that the Kabbalah bracelets. Everybody had the little Kabbalah bracelets and thought it was cool. You were dealing in witchcraft. Madonna is a witchcraftess. Anyway, let's go ahead and hear what Madonna had to go through. Go ahead, sister. Madonna rushed to the hospital intubated in ICU after being found unresponsive. Unresponsive. They had to, she had to cancel some of her tour because of this. Go ahead. Madonna was found unresponsive. I think she's 64, right? Yeah, I think she's 64. In reverse, that's 46. You know what I'm saying? 46 represents the Jesuits. Who is the Jesuits? The Romans. Who is the Romans? The unmelanated Caucasians that is over us today. That is who that is. That tells you her being 64, 64 verse 46, letting you know what this is all about. Go ahead. 
unresponsive and rushed to New York City Hospital Saturday. Page six can unexclusively reveal. Page six reported on it. Can you hear that? At the age of 64, page six reported on it. <laughs> Go ahead. We hear the material girl, singer 64, was intubated for not only did not only is she the material girl, she also made this song like a virgin. Like a virgin. You got to be out of your mind to think that Madonna is a virgin, being that she made that song while being carried by a bunch of men. But anyway, she also made a movie. She starred in a movie called Desperately Seeking Susan. And if you've seen that movie, if you've seen the jacket they was wearing, the jacket they was wearing, whether it be Susan or Madonna, it was a leather jacket with a pyramid on the back of the jacket with the all-seeing eye heightened above the pyramid. This is a long, old movie. A lot of people have probably forgot about it. But yeah, it was that movie. And also Madonna played in another movie where she portrayed to be a damn mermaid. We all know what the mermaid represents. But go ahead. The singer 64 was intubated for at least one night before having one tube removed. And she is now alert and recovering. Uh, we also told, we're also told that her daughter, Lorian Leon, was by her side throughout the ordeal. Madonna's longtime manager, Guy O'Siri, shared... See, when you, when, when you see... Uh, celebrities going through things like this, oh, passing out and in ICU and then they recovering all this. It's all it is, is see, when you pass your soul through the fire of Moloch, the juju priest assigns a fallen angel or a spirit onto you. It's only so long that you can be with that spirit until something like this happens. Then you got to get reassigned another spirit. Because, you know, it's kind of like what the the rapper, uh, what's her name? Um, the rapper, uh, uh, Sweet, the rapper Sweetie. You know what I'm saying? She went over to Jamaica and she said that she ran into a spiritualist. I think it was a spiritualist. And the spiritualist told her to cut her hair off in order to ward off evil spirits. See, this Madonna thing, what she's going through, she went through this in order to regroup herself, in order to have another spirit besides the one that she so long had. Oh my God. But go ahead. Uh, hold on for a minute. Um... Sister Chantel, uh, mute everybody's phone. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, just mute everybody's phone. Everybody's phone. Thank you. All right, go ahead. Shared on Instagram Wednesday that his client had developed a serious bacterial infection which led to several days stay in the ICU. Now, if wow. you, now, for all people who don't know what a bacterial infection is, when a ritual is done on a person, that is exactly what it is. It's an infection. That's exactly what it is. It's mucus. You know how when you're coughing up mucus, <coughs> See when you when a, when a ritual is done on a person, that mucus that is what it is. That is, is is the equivalent of a spirit. In when it's coughed up, boom, that's the physical form. But in when it's in you, 
It's a spiritual fall. So, likely they say bacteria. Go ahead. While a source tell us the queen of pop is now out of ICU, Osiri explains in his post. Os oh, Cyrus? Os I, I, I think it's O-S-E-A-R-Y. Oh, oh, it's okay. Osiris. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Explains in his post, she is still under medical care. A full recovery is expected. Yeah, she's going to recover. She's going to recover. She just It's just a transformation. Old 64 in reverse 46 Jesuit transformation. That's all that is. She's just getting, she's getting re-energized. She, she got to get revamped and re-energized. She got to get that energy. Because, see, this is what happens when you pass your soul to the fire of Mola. You know what I'm saying? The energy that these celebrities get is temporary. But when you follow the Most High God and keep these commandments, the energy and the spirit of the Holy Spirit that you receive you receive it and you keep it. And you don't have to go through these different rituals. You don't have to tell the world that you suffer from a bacterial infection and then turn her. And, but, but little do you know, you just, you know what I'm saying, so satanic that you're putting another spirit on you. Anyway, this is what people got to go through when they, you know what I'm saying, in, in, these, in these cults. Because that's what it is. They want to say that being a Hebrew is a cult. No, we all we do is keep the law. <laughs> Ain't nothing cultish about keeping the law. But is everything cultish about, you know what I'm saying, doing, going to a juju priest and the juju priest deal with damnations and channeling spirits and then putting spirits on you? Come on, that's, that's wicked. And, and for all you people who, you know what I'm saying, do dowel in this, why would you want a spirit on you that is lower than you? See, before you pass your soul through the fire of the Moloch, you are over the spirit that the juju priest is about to put on you. Why would you want to put something lower than you on you? And... <laughs> That's, you are a two-time loser if you do something like that. But that's what these celebrities do. That's all what happened with Madonna. You know what I'm saying? She's going to continue. She probably canceled maybe one or two stops on her tour, but she's going to continue her tour fully energized now. Oh, Kabbalah. Anyway, let's go to these scriptures, Sister Smith. Okay. We're going to the book of John. Book of John. Chapter 8, verse 44 through 46. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 44 through 46. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 44 through 46. Go ahead. Ye are of your father, the devil. Hear that? You know what I'm saying? All of these celebrities are of their father, the devil. Anybody who passes their soul through the fire of the Moloch, they are workers of their father. You know what I'm saying? They, they may say they're Christians. No, that's a false. You cannot be a Christian with a demon on you. Go ahead. And the, and the lust of your father ye will do. The lust of your father ye will do. What's the lust? The lust is gravitating towards the things of this world. We being in the truth, we don't care about the things of this world. If we get it, we get it. We ain't going to take it to heart. We ain't going to hold it dear. If we'll just consider it, you know what I'm saying, part of the blessing we get for following the commandments. Because the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom and all his righteousness, and all these can should be added on to you. Go ahead. He was a murderer from the beginning. Show enough was. And abide not in the truth. Not in the truth. And he abide not in the truth. 
This is the devil. This is all of them who pass their soul through the fire of the Mola. I don't care if a celebrity so-called say they woke up, they in the truth, and they know who they are. You can know who you are all you want. You took that oath. There is no turning back from that. There ain't none. And you know what I'm saying? Can you go more? There's no turning back from that. You know what I'm saying? Kodak Black, there is no turning back for that. I don't care what celebrity it is who is so-called woken up, there is no turning back from what they have done. You understand? Because not only did they sell their soul, not only did they sign that oath, they also did what is abominable to the Most High. And that's the unthinkable. That's what they do in their mansion party. There is no turning back from that. Do you think the Lord wants you after all of that? You done voluntarily did? No, you're tainted. So to all of you other, you know what I'm saying, rinky-dink uh, uh, social media personalities, you know what I'm saying, who want to so badly interview a celebrity, no, no. And to all of you camps who is clinging to these celebrities, no, no, you're wrong. You are wrong. There is no turning back once you pass your soul to the fire of Mola. Go ahead. Because there is no truth in him, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. Yeah, he speaketh of his own. Just like Jamie Foxx's um, daughter said that they have a special announcement. His father was playing cricket ball. Where's the announcement at? That's a lie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, Madonna hospitalized for a bacterial infection. Yeah, it's, it's a bacterial infection, but tell me what it really is. When you do the rituals, when it's done, when it's properly done, bacteria is a spirit. That mucus is a spirit. Go ahead. For he is a liar and the father of it all. Of it. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Verse 45. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Hear that? Because I tell you the truth, you believe me not because you love the celebrities. You love the crowd. You love the attention. You love where the people are. Oh, this there's a hundred thousand people following him. I'm going to go follow him. Ain't no truth over there. Because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. But everything I say, it always seems to come to fruition. Go ahead. Verse 46. Which of you convinceth me of sin? Oh, man. Amen. Go ahead. And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? If I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? I tell you why. Because you are mesmerized and you have been tranquilized by the spirit that is on these celebrities. See, it's not Madonna that you're idolizing. It is the spirit that the juju priest assigned to her. It's who you are attracted to. It's who your energy is attracted to. Come on, what Nicki Minaj says? I don't know, somebody conjured him up and now he won't leave. They call him Roman. It's the spirit that you're attracted to. Understand that. It's not the celebrity. It is the spirit. You are tranquilized by that spirit. And that's what Madonna went through so that she can have another spirit. Go ahead. Okay, we're going into the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 16. Galatians, chapter 4, verse 16. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 16. I, am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Am I your enemy because I'm telling you your favorite celebrity is a satanic scumbag? If I become your enemy because I tell you this? 
If I become your enemy because I tell you that Kanye West, no matter how much you say he's a black J, he still cannot make it. No matter how much Kyrie Irving uh, sneak and drop on Twitter some trailer to some movie, he cannot make it. No matter how much Kay Lamar dance in the rainbow suit talking about this and talk about that, he cannot make it. And just because you love these celebrities, you hear me and you, I become your enemy. Go ahead. Okay, we're going to the book of Revelations, chapter 12, verse 15. Revelation, chapter 12, verse 15. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 15. And the serpent cast out of his mouth That's, water as a flood. This after, is Madonna. This is Kodak Black. This is NBA Youngboy. This is all your favorite celebrities who have put together music and every music that have been put together by these celebrities have been prayed demons upon and it has been released to the masses and here's the, here's the end result. Read that again. The end result to you listening to these demonized musics from these artists. Here is the end result. Listen, here is the end result. This is a spiritual thing. You want to know how you are taken away and you have now have obtained demons on you? You want to know how you got demons on you? I'm going to show you how you got demons on you. Go ahead. Read that again from the top. And the serpent, Revelation what? Revel Revelations 12, verse 15. Revelations 12, 15. Go ahead. And the serpent, and the serpent out of, that's Satan, he did what? And the serpent cast out of his mouth. Cast out of his mouth. He, his mouth is the same way Moses was speaking on the behalf of the Most High, the same way Isaiah, uh, Jeremiah, the same way all the prophets is the mouthpiece of the Most High. Is the same way your celebrities is the mouthpiece of Satan. And they are speaking. That water is the music that you are listening to. Listen. Satan and the Satan and the serpent cast out water as flood. Go ahead. Water as a flood after the woman. After the woman. Who's the woman? Who's the woman? We're going to get into who's the woman. After the woman. Because this, all of this is coming after the woman. Drill music. You know what I'm saying? All your drill rappers. That's that water being casted out. After the woman. You see? You know what I'm saying? All of your women rappers. That's that water. The serpent using these celebrity. To cast out this water after the woman. Go ahead. That he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. <laughs> carried away. Carried away of what? Carried away out of your damn mind. Now you are being controlled by a demon and you find yourself smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? You find yourself doing going the opposite way of sex and everything. You'll find yourself popping more pills than you normally do. You'll find yourself doing all sorts of things. Why? Because it is not you no longer that do it, but it's the demon that's in you that do it. And you allow that demon to get in you by you opening, opening your vessel to have a demon possession through these demonized tracks, these demonized albums, these demonized musics. Go ahead. Okay, we're going into the book of Matthew. The book of Matthew. Chapter 25, verse 5 to 12. Chapter 25, verse 5. Okay. While the bridegroom tarried, they Why? all slumbered and slept. While the bridegroom tarried. Who is the bridegroom? The bridegroom is Christ. 
Yeshia, who you ignorantly call Jesus. Christ is the bridegroom. And who is the bride? Who is that woman? See, the Lord look at us as that woman, that untouched woman. You know what I'm saying? You know, and we are the bride, and Christ is the bridegroom. So in Revelation chapter 12, when the serpent cast out water as a flood, using these rappers to spit water as a flood after the woman, after you, after you innocent brothers and sisters who obviously don't know who you are. And being that you have been taken away by this flood, you probably will never know who you are because the demon have been have possession over you now. And you think that demon won't let you go? Go ahead. Verse 6. At, at midnight, there was a cry made, mm -hmm. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Mm -hmm. Go see, ye out to meet him. See, this is the parable of the five women with the lanterns, and they had uh, oil for their lanterns, and the other five who had the lanterns and didn't have no oil for their lanterns. That is, you know what I'm saying, uh, to let you know that you must be ready. You cannot come at the last minute and say, I want to be with Christ now. You cannot hoe all year long, and then at the end of your hoeing, you want to say, oh, I want to be with Christ now. You cannot smoke yourself stupid all year long, and then after you don't smoke your last butt, you want to say, I want to come to Christ now. No, no. Soon as you hear this truth, you have to come and repent and walk the walk and talk the talk. And do the work. Soon as you hear it. Don't wait. Go ahead. Verse 7. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. Mm -hmm. Verse 8. Mm -hmm. And the foolish said unto the wise. Mm -hmm. The foolish Jesus. said unto the wise. Those who just wanted to party. Said unto those who was faithful, who first heard this truth and graduated to it and held on to this truth. The foolish, the one that won the party said, give us some oil for our lamps. They was not prepared because they were too busy partying. Go ahead. Give us of your oil for our, for our lamps are gone out. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. Yeah, you should you should have been wise. You you should you know what I'm saying? Instead of you partying, instead of you, you know what I'm saying, trying to keep up with the Joneses, you should have been prepared. Because what's coming next in this earth, you you need to be prepared. Because if you ain't prepared for the next pandemic, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> they already planning it. Bill Gates, Dr. Fauci, all of them, they already planning it. If you ain't ready, I feel sorry for you. Go ahead. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. So when they went to try to, you know what I'm saying, get themselves together, repent, you know what I'm saying, here comes Christ. Here comes Christ. Go ahead. And they that were ready went in with him. Ooh, and they the that marriage. stayed faithful, they that stayed faithful to this word, they that kept these commandments, they that did the work went in with Christ. Go ahead. And the door was shut. And the door was shut. Don't let that door shut on you. If you hear this truth and you know it to be truth to you, you need to repent while you have a chance. Because there's going to come a time where repentance, repentance is not going to last forever. I'm telling you that right now. You can repent whenever you want. 
repenting is not going to last forever. That door is going to be shut. Go ahead. Verse 11. Afterwards came also the other virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. Lord, Lord, oh, all of the partiers, all of the drinkers, all of the whoremongers, all of the drug users said, Lord, Lord, I repented already. I've been praising you in the churches. Open the door, Lord. What did the Lord say? But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Whoa. Know you not? I don't know you. I sent my prophets to you to let you know. You did to them as you pleased. I sent my evangelists. I sent my pastors to you. You did to them as you pleased. Now please. Go serve your father, Satan. Go serve your father, Satan. Go ahead. Okay, we're going into the book of Second Edris, chapter 9, verse 9, 10, 11. Second Edris, chapter 9, verse 9, 10, and 11. Go ahead. Just a minute. Uh, then shall they be in a pitiful case. See, this is what's going to happen for all of you who think that you got time, who think that you can go and, and have fun and have fun without repenting, without keeping these laws. <laughs> you shall be a pitiful case. Go ahead. Which now have Abuse my ways. They abuse the ways. They abuse the prophets. They abuse the pastors. They abuse the teachers. They wanted to do what they wanted to do. They said, please stop teaching us. Stop talking to us that way. We want to do what we want to do. And they that have cast them away. Cast them away. Despitefully shall dwell in torment. Mm -hmm. Shall dwell in torment. Go ahead. Verse 10, for such as in their life, such have, as in their life, have received benefits and have not known me. Have received benefits and have not known the Most High. Go ahead. Verse 11, and they that have loaded my law, they that have you know what I'm saying? Said, you know what I'm saying? Forget about that law. They're not going to keep the law. Listen now. Go ahead. While they have yet liberty. While they have yet liberty. Look, y'all have a sense of freedom. Juneteenth, right? While you guys are sitting here running around trying to get that bag, trying to, you know what I'm saying, trying to smash every woman you see, you women trying to, you know what I'm saying, trying to get that bag, trying to get your head nails done, and 